it's your wife. Yeah. Well, Benny's less. Why is the target Yeah, the targets are not there. Yeah, it's not set up properly. I mean, I gotta remove this fuck, man. It's not Yeah. Fucking around. It's not doing it right. I mean, is it, do you get the same problem with the pro with the pro? Yeah, it is the same pro because I usually use only the pro. Oh fuck. I have to install mine on it. Shit. I I have a a cloud storage. If you want you can upload there and then we can download. Save on um, this This has to be changed.
Two will pump you swap two. Well on the AW094094, I wanted the same thing. Wow. I think I'm coding for a determined feed. Wow. Give me the E just Here's Gustav, we're working on his car. Hey Gustav, big up bro. Hey. <laughs> Try to fix you up, my man. One warning. Add you in it in programming a word, yep. All right, we're gonna program the Aegis. The chest of the DM is okay. Program the Aegis right coding for the disk. As well as to this EMF, EPS, FRM, FZD, Ifgate module, head up display. ICM, IHKA, JBF, PCB. All right, the ZB controller not working. Right here, you see this box I check, remove, blah, 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 not working. So check the software availability for those are there. Um, Start the process now. Alright, coding file gonna be into all those modules. So. I have my food now. All right, finish with the all green.
All right, we're gonna have to do the program. Uh, let me go back here and look. All right, the DM and the cast, I'm not gonna mess with those. Those already have their files in it, so you can see now DME, DSC coded. Call Gossy Boy. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know, we can see now that the DSC now have coding file in it. There it goes. The EJS has coding yeah. file now. Only the fuel yeah. pump, only the fuel pump next to me coded, but this one does not show up in the in the um in the transaction list, you know? Yeah. And that's why the car probably start and shut down because there's no coding instruction. In the fuel pump. This is the one now that is on the car. Um, I I put I put an, I mean I I I changed this one because I was thinking something was wrong with this uh, EKPS. Okay. And I bought a a new one, but not original. I I already have the original one, which is I think it's still working fine. Oh oh, so why you take it off? Why you took it off? Yeah, but my my big mistake. I mean, right now it's with the other one. <laughs> All right, no big deal, man. We can do it later, okay? Yeah, but I mean, if you if you go with this one and and let's see, because that one also can be interesting player when the car is turning off, maybe. Okay. Yeah, maybe we can program it right now and see. Okay, look here. You see, is this one that says ZB ZBE two? Uh -huh. On address yeah. sixty seven. This one is the iDrive controller that Ron now, which used to manipulate the CID, the ED unit, you know. This one needs to uh -huh. be replaced, or either the fuse is blown, or the model itself is uh, not working. You know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah this needs to okay. be replaced. If the fuse is not blown, and if all the wiring is okay, that means this control unit right here, the ZB controller, it must be replaced. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You, yeah, yeah. I, I use. Think something is wrong with that one because. Uh, okay. All right, the original fuel pump. All right, is there a way you can all right, turn off terminal 15, which is the ignition, and then remove that fuel pump and put on the original fuel pump onto the car now, okay? Okay, then let me put it back. Yeah. Uh, what do you want me to do right now? Uh, Just turn off the ignition. Turn off the ignition until the lights go away uh, off the cluster. And change for the other one, right? Yes, yes, yes. I'll put the original uh, EKPS inside there, okay? Yeah, that will be faster. Yeah, just right, give me yeah. two minutes. Turn on and after a few seconds, turn off. So. Okay, ignition is on? Yeah, I know. Just came to the Ignition is on? Ignition is on. All lights turn on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing a big difference now in the, in the dashboard. Okay, good, good, good. All right, I'm going to write a coding file for this, okay? Okay. Yeah, man. You are the master. <clears throat> I think you made this car to to run. Yeah. Let me know what is your birthday, man. I send a uh, whiskey. Oh, my <laughs> birthday will be next month. Do you, do you drink it all? Oh, no, I don't drink. Okay, okay, okay. I sent some, some other stuff. Where, where are you from? Where are you born? Uh, Jamaica. Oh, 
right. So you love soccer too? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too, man. I'm from Bolivia. I'm born in Bolivia. Yeah. Oh, we love soccer too. We're not so good, man. We love soccer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too, I used man. to play every day when I was a, when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> I keep playing, but not. Uh, I mean, only Friday sometimes. Mhm. Mm not anymore, man. My my knee is bothering me. Mhm. Mm not playing more. What about you? Are you doing? Huh? Not... Are you playing sometimes or not? No, I don't play soccer anymore. Yeah. If I ride bicycle, I do we do cycling. I rode road, I rode, I race road bikes. And that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. How is the weather in Miami? The weather? Mm -hmm. It's sunny. Uh, you are in the how you call this like the. All right, now the fuel pump is coded, okay? Before, before. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, okay. fuel pump is coded, man. Um, try start the car and see it behaves. Okay. I'll check. Now looks good, man. Okay, it's running, it's running smoothly. Ah, uh, yeah, turn, turn off the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's because the cars are, uh, you know, maybe. Let's try again. All right. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Leave it as it is there. Um, I want to program the DME and the chassis unit. Yeah. Yeah, but it's I mean it's big different comparing for where where it was before. Just before it was not reading the the full tank level. Okay. Not reading. Yeah. See, if you see the code, also was saying the list of the power codes. Yeah. Was saying uh, something with the air flow sensor. Yeah, yeah. And I even bought a new one to, to, to replace that one. But looks like it's uh, something else. But okay. We can, we can try, but I mean, right now it's, it's a bit different. Is the ignition on? Hello? Let me turn it on. Yeah, right now it's on. Oh, ignition is on, okay. Yeah. <coughs> Only the ZB controller left, you know? Yeah. All right, the TCB now has a coding file in it. Everything look okay in terms of the right audio variant. Mm -hmm. It's only the edu unit now. We have to try to program the edu unit right here. Um, I don't know if the unit can do this. I'm gonna try use the unit cable to program the edu unit. Okay. Okay. If now we can switch to the icon. But let's try. No, 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 no. We we use the Enet cable to program the the ED unit. Just is the battery maintainer on the car? Uh, no. What what do you mean there? The battery maintainer is it plugged to the car? I'm not sure what you what you say the maintainer. The battery maintainer. Do you have a battery maintainer? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. It is on. It is on. It's on. Okay, it's on. good, 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 yeah. good. The charger. Yeah, keep it. Uh, Voltage is still in 14.4. We are good. Start. Yep. All right, buddy. I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again with ID unit and let us see what will happen. Okay, man. If this works, lunch is on me tomorrow. Yeah, 1 hour 21 minutes. Just wait. If it fails again, we have to set up the DSCP rotary you now for the IP address to be changed, okay? Okay. 
Yeah, so okay. let us wait and see. Yeah, sorry. That was the first picture. Yeah, this is like, this is like good for doing a video for the YouTube channel, man. Mm-hmm. Are you recording or? Yeah, I'm making a video of it, yeah. Very good, man, very good. I'm excited to see this. So, which one is the model that handles these dashboards? Which model handles the file codes? Yes, do you remember the... I, I told you the level of the gasoline was always zero, not moving at all, yeah. now it's uh, responding. No, well, I'm not sure which, which model. Well, the that. um the module that controls the um the gasoline is the, the EKPM, the fuel pump module, but it sends the information on the bus lines to uh the body domain controller, the ZGM and the CAS unit and the cluster, you know, and the DSC and so on. Back. What's up? What's he? Hey, I'm here, Rick. Okay, okay, okay. All right, man, we're just watching it. Don't go near the car, don't touch the cables, okay? Okay. 
problem, yeah. You Guys, mean? there, we have good uh, connections, electricity, everything. Okay. <coughs> All right, man. Um, when it's finished, you can. Uh, uh, well, we talk. We'll, I'll call you back when it's finished, okay? Or whenever it's okay, finished. Okay, I'll be monitoring too, so we can maybe connect this in 40 minutes, one hour? Uh, no, 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 man. It's going to be like within one hour time. What do you say? So, I mean, this will take like uh, one hour? Yeah, one hour, five minutes left on it, you know? Yeah. It, right. it, it is just, okay. listen, it got to take less than that, really. It's just that it's writing the big files, the software flash out, they are the largest files. So, that is why it's taking that long, you know? But when it goes through the big ones, it will finish quickly, uh -huh. you know? Okay. All right. Let's reconnect later. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Take care, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Oh, this thing lasts less than an hour. It's now 80 minutes ago. See? It's true. It, it's right there the falls. All right. So almost. You can see it. So it's right in the iPod manual. It's the manual to the car. Operation um, owner's manual or operational manual, that's what I should say. I bought All right, it's finished now. If I get green, oh, one minute, let's wait a second. Right, coding file now. Oh yeah, it's finished now. Coding file is written green. Oh, orange, yellow bar. Good luck. It is finished. It's supposed to come up back. Finish with warning. It should be able to come up now on the screen. The navigation map and system must come back up and probably call me. All right, it's finished. NBT. Finish successfully, so we have that there. We go here, uncheck this. The DME and the cast now must be updated. All right, here's all the files there on these. So let us see if it's now all restored now. Oh, there they are. Everything now is restored. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten software flash files. And one, two, three, four iBot manual files. We have one entertainment data here, and we have one 
navigation data here. All right. So we can update the DME now and um, Let me see if we can update this. Update the image. <coughs> Five minutes. This is the car we're working on right now. Unified Diagnostic Services. It's finished now. It'll be finished with green. Alright, it should be finished. So DME is updated. I hope it doesn't get fucked on us right now. Oh, what's he doing this way here? Alright, okay. Augusta. Wow, fuck. 
Amen. Hey, how are you doing? Good, good. Sir. Let me check how things are coming. Uh, it's, it's a still going on? No, we're programming, I'm programming the cast now, but you look like I'm having problems here. Oh, what happened here? Yeah, turn off. What's that, dear? Wait, wait, don't turn it back on. Wait, don't turn it back on. Wait. No, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's just still going on. Everything is, uh... Yeah, wait, wait, wait. It's like, uh, it's still turn on the car. No, ease yeah. is turning off. The which one? Don't interfere with it, bro. I said the program turned off the ignition and it's gonna turn it back on when it's finished. I'm trying to program in the cast oh. unit right now, just wait. Yeah, yeah, just turning on. Uh, yeah, it's still going on well, I think. Okay, it's in red, it come over red. Because uh, it's a bit in the, the radio, it's working. It's, it looks like something was. Uh, was done properly, but something else failed. Yeah, I know. But I mean, radio was it wasn't working. Now it's working. Yeah, the navigation should be working also. Yeah. If you want, let me know. If you want me to try to turn around, let's see. Oh, the ignition is still off. No, no, it's still it's still on. I mean, I'm talking about turn on the ignition completely to, to see the engine and so on. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. The coding file failed to write to the cast unit. I do not know where. All right. Um. Can you plug the icon to the car? You want me to connect the icon? Fuck the cast. Right now it's with the, the with the Ethernet, right? I'll be true. Yeah. Just wait. 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 You said SDK invalid. Programming dependency check failed on the cast. Fuck. I didn't want to touch it, enough. You don't want to fuck with the cast unit, man. Shit. Fuck. I didn't want to fuck with this right here, man. I don't know why. The coding file failed to write to the cast. Oh, that's why it was not 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 again mm. The cast does not have any coding file, it's gonna give us issues starting car again, you know? Oh, you're taking me. Let's see, man. Alright. Alright, wait, 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 wait,
Disconnect the inner cable from the car and plug the eye come to it now. Okay. Give me one second. Mm. Good morning YouTubers, welcome to BMW Programming and Encoding Channel on YouTube. Today we're going to work on a BMW F25. It's been control units up on another car and put into this one. So we have a problem with vehicle order alignment and also the VIN number of the control model does not match that of the chassis of the car. Yes, Gustavo, what you're saying? Hello? Hello, hello, hello? Oh, what, you, what you were saying to me? Hey, oh, Gustavo. Okay. Icon is disconnected. Yeah, remember? yeah. Reconnect the icon for me. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Do you have iTool radar on this computer? Uh, what you said? Can you repeat? Do you have iTool radar here? Yes, I have. I have. Where you put it? It is in the desktop. iTool I, radar. I all right, it's all right. I found it here. Oh wow! Are you sure it's gonna run? Is this thing run? Does it work? Yeah. Yeah, it's working. Now it's connected. Let me check. Let me come back to the computer. Yeah, the i tool is. Uh, do you want me to open? No man, I open it there. Don't, don't, don't open it. I'm, I'm, I'm putting the icon there. You know. Oh, okay. Because I don't have. <laughs> I don't have an icon there. It's, it's in the desktop. Yeah, you got it. Go on. Yeah, man, let us stay there. Um, I saw in your video, and then I searched for this tool, and then I yeah. found out. It's a good one. A good one. we can change the VIN number. Oh, we cannot change the VIN number in the FA here. We have to get a new ZGM to do that and a new CAS unit. Oh, we cannot okay. do it. The only way you can do it is, is to virginize the ZGM on the CAS unit and you write over the vehicle order. The proper vehicle order for the car's VIN number, you know? Okay. And you don't probably have that tool on your side to do it. You probably need BMW Explorer 1 or probably Auto X. Auto X2 or Abrightis Commander, you know, but um, that is why it's not good to swap control modules from another car to a chassis that has a bit different VIN number. Some cases, it's some people will get work, but um, in some cases, it doesn't work as, um, you know, when someone is going to buy the car from you, whatever they read it out, and I see that the VIN number in the car doesn't match the VIN number on the plate that is stamped onto the driver's side door, you know. And uh, right. yeah, they were gonna not gonna buy it. They're gonna think you're defrauding them or something. So you wanna make sure that the VIN number, the car's vehicle order match what is on the plate. You know, otherwise you could get in trouble for that. Yeah. Ed, do it in program on the board. Control and responding. Hello. Yeah, your picture I turned in. Uh, yeah, I saw it. Um, yeah, I saw that. All right. I just have a picture. This VIN number here, I have to create an FA for it. And um, we have to write. But wow, wow, wow. This is kind of weird. Shit. The VIN number. How am I going to change this one? To write this over to the other one. I mean, there's a lot of shit has to be changed. It's all the control. Yeah. It's, listen, it's all the control models. Right here, coming from the, the, the all, only the one same car. Uh, not, 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 not sure if I understand the question. All right, what you take from another car and put on this car? No, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do that. I bought the car completely like this in this situation. So what you said was swapped. What you said was uh, swapped over, like. What? In, in when well, you when you were talking to me or in earlier on, what that what modules you, you said to me were swapped? Oh yeah yeah, I mean I noticed was the past EME 
Uh, the gateway looks like it's from a different car. That's that's the thing. Are, are even reporting a different amount. Okay, I see. That's what they did. They take models from another car. Okay, so the Z gem here and the cast. That has, one's exactly. That yeah. is from a different car. Wow, I see what they did. Wow, wow, wow. Shit. All right, brother. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this VIN number and I'm going to compare their vehicle orders with the one that is on the car and then I'm going to see if they're match or how close they are, okay? Okay. Because we need to have the right. Once the car has a VIN number stamped on it, we have to make the car reflect Look the vehicle. Look at this one uh, in, the, in the screenshot. Yeah. I'm opening a file. You see this one? Yes, I saw that. Wait a minute. All right, those are the ZGM and the CAS4. Yeah, I see that the VIN numbers in them are the same. Yeah. Right. Those yeah, but, are from different cars. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah, those are from different cars. So, yes. And, and the ECU is reporting uh, the, the VIN number from different cars. So, yeah. I can, uh, I, I know somebody who can. Uh, how you call this a reset the ECU and then put a different number in number maybe we can do that or, i mean i'm not sure um what you say do we have a battery maintainer connected to the car now no you need to oh, have a battery, battery. Yes, yes 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 we have we have do you yes. have the, do you, do, does the battery maintainer connected to the car now it is I have one which is maintaining the voltage uh, always. Uh, if you see in the in the Insta here. Yes, but it's too low. It's, it's, it should be above 13 volts of programming. Yeah, I mean right now. I have a tester here in the battery. In the battery is showing me 14.4, but the Insta is showing me uh, almost 13. But these things I tried, it is not working. All right, That's I'm gonna try. Think. I'm gonna try to execute the measure plan with the current battery setting there that is on KL15 and KL30. I'm gonna see if I can perform a gateway repair measure for the um, for the LU unit. Okay. 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 Because I I tried before this one, but didn't. I All mean, right. clean up the codes, but didn't finish properly. And there were where I saw this uh, thing that I mentioned right now. Uh, all Uncle right. Got hot and, uh, Pay attention. Look, you you? sir. Listen now, please. Just listen. Please check if there's any USB plug into the car or any CD or DVD. Yeah, then no, no, it's not normal. Nothing. Just nothing. check. No. No, because that also is not working. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. The end unit that, is in program. Always is there. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, the end unit on that car. I'm gonna try to program it first over this IP address here. The IP address that says one six nine. If it fails, okay. if it fails to program and restore the end unit over this network path, we have to upgrade the ISTA version to the latest, and then that upgrade will force us to upgrade the icom firmware and then the icom firmware will be assigned a new ip address start with 192 and then we'll go back again and program over the edit unit that time it should be successful but i'm gonna try now to see if it will be programming successful with this network part that start with ip address 169 okay 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 so we wait yeah because like, like i mentioned i already tried these things and failed Oh you, didn't tell me. oh, you didn't tell me that. If you had told me that, then I would make it work. Hey, tell me something, buddy. All right. What kind of a modem? Do you have a Comcast modem in your office? Where are you? Your home or your, or your shop? No, no. It's in my home. It's in my home. <coughs> okay. How oh, far away the car is from your internet modem? Uh, it's not that far. It's Yes, your home network, your home modem that provide you internet. How far away from the car is it? It's like um, maybe 
yeah, it's, 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 it's too close, I mean, maybe meters, do you know meters, 10 meters, not too far. It's All right, listen, close. listen, can, can, we go, you're going to need to get to 150 feet, cat 6 or cat 5 or cat 7, Ethernet cable at Best Buy or one of those stores that sell it. We need to connect the ICOM and the laptop to the internet modem. And the internet modem now, it will assign a DHCP server IP address for the... Um, and, yeah, I can, I can figure out and do that. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 can, um, I can work on this and figure out to get a direct connection from the modem, if you need that. You want to get can, it? You wanna yeah, I can, I can buy the, a new Ethernet cable and do that. Okay. Okay. To make sure that the, that the gateway is gaining a direct connection from the router and the uh, internet is stable too and everything. Okay. I mean, we don't, we don't really need the internet, right? It's just more for the... When, when, when the modem in your home is internet active, it allows the DHCP server to be set to automatic by the ISP service provider, internet service provider that came to the house. Right. So, yes, right. I want that modem to be internet active. Do you have that? Yes, but I mean the cable is a problem. Yeah, you pray. We, we, we need long cables. Yeah, we need very long, long cables. Yeah, I, I, I work on that. And also, I work in the, in the CAS to order the new CAS. Yeah, you're going to need a new ZGM too. Uh, okay, can, can you um, ping me in, in WhatsApp what we need and then I start working with them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, those yeah. parts uh, needs to be by directly from the dealer, right? Yes, sir. No way to yeah. Put something else. Okay. Yeah. okay. 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 Yeah, you need to order a new ZGM and a new cast. And then I write the vehicle order to those, okay? And then All from right. there, we can tell. If the current hardware on the car will match to that vehicle order, and then we can tell you what other hardware you can buy used, okay? Yeah, Which can will you be... please uh, write down for me in the WhatsApp? So I'm, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. I can't write down any control models yet. You have to get the new cast on ZGM first and connect it to the car, and then I connect, then I use ESIS to write the vehicle order, and then I program both the cast on the ZGM, and then I read out the car after that with ESTD, and then I can tell which control models will be checked as replacement uh replacement are not a part of the vehicle order that is all i have to do it you know because mm -hmm. my intent is to restore about the car to factory working order you understand exactly yeah yeah makes yeah. Sense. yeah yeah i want to restore about the car originally as it leaves the factory so that you don't have no problems with it or anyone who buy okay. from you they don't have no problems with it after after we've done everything on it it should be able to be make all control models green you know so yeah uh, yeah, yeah, makes sense because I think I want to do business right. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, that sir. We have, yes, sir. I want to sell the car. Yeah, I work on that. Day. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, the, the only thing is I don't know who can help me, but I, mm -hmm. I have an idea. Yeah, I go to the dealer, I think, because mm -hmm. they can order the parts directly, right? Mm -hmm. Or I can do by myself directly. Mm -hmm. Because the key okay. I ordered through the to the dealer, right? Yes. But, but the cost is directly charged by BMW. And I'm not sure about that. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> this, this thing takes a long time.
it's taking a long time to do this early you know yeah i think uh, we'll find some point uh, something is long by there yeah we're gonna break connection I'm gonna break connection from the car because it's not gonna go anywhere, you know. Okay. Um. Let me read out the car with ESIS. Let me save um, certain things here. Okay? Is the ignition on the car turn on turn on the ignition make sure that the lights comes on in the cluster okay okay uh ignition is still on Do it. Yep. It's all the lights are on. All right. All right. We cut it now. So. Wow, the full PSDC data does not show up right here for ISTEP shipment and ISTEP target. This ECE is not set up properly. Um, yeah, high uh, probably, man. Yeah, I, I realize these things when I'm following one of your videos. I'm yeah. sure it's not shown properly. These, these file right here, CAFD, these are right out of this car? Yes, I mean, I when I follow one of your videos, this files was generated. But it's from the car, yeah. All right, I'll go. Only is coming six. Mm -hmm. Only six are coming, and then there that error appears. Six, seven, yeah. Oh, this is for the ZB controller. It's not responding. All right, six of it. I look, you can see the VIN numbers are different. You know. Yeah. Advanced car safety model of the vehicles VIN in it. The correct vehicles VIN in it. 
and then the cast unit has the use VIN with it matched with the DME used and also yeah. the DSC VIN number is original and so on and uh, yeah, so all we these have to change the cast and the DME, right? look here yeah even the EGS the EGS does not have a coding file here in this one too it does not show the VIN number right it has no CAFD file in it this one is swapped 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 this one is also swapped mm -hmm. and the XZD swapped the GWS is a gear selector switch that is also swapped although the GWS switch doesn't carry a coding file um, the leaf gate module here is also swapped and head up display is swapped the end unit in programming of work all these files right here are unknown they are software flash files that must be written there and then also the icm doesn't have any coding file that is swapped no coding file no coding file um we need the urgent we need a brand new cast unit and the new zgm so that when we connect those to the car we can um write a new fa to it and program the zgm and then we're ready to rock and roll you know because right now i can't do nothing with this car right here this car is debauched you know yeah. We can't do nothing okay. with it. We can't do nothing with this right here. This is just, it's not gonna, it's not gonna give us the result we need, like as if the car is from factory, you know. We need a faultless car when we finish, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need a fault free car when we finish. Man. All right, buddy, I'm gonna try to set up ESIS for you, okay? Okay. I'm gonna try to set up ESIS for you the correct way, man. Just let me, let me, let me, let me do something here, buddy. Um, it's the easiest data folder supposed to be read from right it's gonna read from this but I don't I'm not sure it's not seeing it you know it's not seeing it right here so uh yeah I think I'm not sure looks like we have a 175 gigabyte but okay all right we, 